Hello YouTube, we're just going to be going over some double integral practice problems, uh, just two of them, so we'll kind of make this quick. A good review, I'd suggest pausing the video and seeing if you could do this problem on your own. Okay, welcome back. So, what this is called is, um, these are called integrated integrals. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But here's what I usually do when solving them. Um, notice how we have dx dy as a, at the end instead of dy dx normally. Um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. But... Um, it does matter when you evaluate, though. So the, you kind of evaluate, you peel it like an onion, you work from the inside out kind of thing. Um, so with there, since there's dx in the parentheses there I put in green, uh, that means that limits of integration are, are um, dealing with respect to x on the outside is dealt with respect to y. So you evaluate that um, integral on the inside, treat it as a separate integral problem. And the antiderivative of sine x would be negative cosine x. And you treat y, anything with y, as a constant. So pretend cosine y is just like the number 2. And then you would have 2x. Um, so that's kind of how it goes there. Then you plug in those limits of integration. Make sure you plug them in for x. Don't get confused. That's why you write those. But remember, you still have that other integral to deal with. But first, let's evaluate that inside. So uh, you plug in pi, and you get um, cosine of pi to be negative 1, but since it's negative cosine, it becomes positive 1. And then you plug in pi for x. Sorry about that, something happened, but um, you get pi, I think I said. And then you plug in uh, x for 0, and then you get negative 1. And since you're minusing a negative value, it becomes positive. Um, so you get 2 plus pi cosine y um, dy. And you're evaluating that, for, or excuse me, you're integrating that from pi to 2 pi. Um, and then you do another integral problem, so it's like the second problem in its own problem. Um, so you do, you integrate with respect to y, so you get 2y uh, plus the antiderivative of cosine is sine pi y, and then you evaluate that from uh, pi to 2 pi, and plug those in, uh, you get 4 pi there, and pi sine y would be 2 pi, and you subtract and you get 2 pi as your answer. Awesome. So we're going to move on to another one. This one's a little bit more difficult, uh, but we'll try it. Um, this, these limits of integration, by the way, could be a rectangle. You could be evaluating these double integrals over a rectangle, and here is the function that you're given. And so what you're going to do is um, you're going to anti-differentiate. So with respect to y first, so you're working the inside out. So it knows how it's dy dx now. So that means y cubed will become y to the fourth over 4. So you just, I kind of did that down there. Um, so I brought the fourth to the denominator. And then you evaluate that from the limits of integration, which are 0 to 2. Make sure you put the y there so you don't get confused and you know where you're plugging in the values. You plug in those values, uh, but make sure, remember, you're doing two uh, integrals here. So make, don't forget to leave those out there. We're just going inside out. Then you evaluate those. Um, you should get 16x over 4 um, times the quantity x squared minus, or excuse me, x squared plus 1. Um, to simplify that, though, um, you can cancel out the 16 and the 4, and you get 4x over x squared plus 1. Now you have to evaluate this integral as its own problem now. But you have to think. Uh, the integral of 1 over x dx is ln of absolute value of x plus c. But since we have a definite integral, we aren't going to be dealing with the plus c. But you do need to know that the antiderivative of 1 over something is the ln of that something. Um, so we do do that there. Put that absolute value in. Uh, we get 2 ln x squared plus 1, um, and then you plug in those limits of integration, make sure, well, they're already in x, so you should figure that out, um, and you should get 2 ln 2. want to make this under 4 minutes, so uh, this was awesome. Thanks. Bye.